Hello everyone, welcome to this video on how to use the calculated value control in Nintex forms. For this tutorial, I am going to use the example of an office supplies order form. You can see that I've already created the form with Nintex forms. There is an area for the customer's details, as well as the items they wish to order. Now a calculated value control is needed to calculate the total order. In this case, we are going to use two calculated value controls. The first one needs to be added beneath the total label. This will calculate the total cost based on the number of units ordered of this item. To create the formula for this control, we need to select the formula builder icon here in the formula field. So here we are in the named control section. To calculate the total from the quantity of the item and the price, we need to create the formula quantity times price. I'm also going to select decimal as the data type and add a name to this control. I'm also going to add some CSS. All right, we're finished with this control and can go back to the form. Now, since the item order section has been included in a repeating section control, we can order multiple items. And this means that we also need to calculate the grand total of the order. This is where a second calculated value control comes in. You can see here that there is a final total label on the form. And we now need to add the second calculated value control. This is going to calculate the sum of the line item total. Again, to create the formula, we'll select the formula builder icon. We need to go to runtime functions, locate sum, here we go, and then go back to the named controls to add line total. So we want the sum of the line total. The next thing is to add decimal as the data type. Give this control a name and add some CSS. The last step is to align the total values to the right hand side. Okay, so the form is now ready to use and to show you the working form and the use of our calculated control, I'm going to go into the preview mode. You can see here I can add my name and company and now I can make the order. So the first item I'm going to select is hole punch. And I would like two of these at $5 each. You can see that the total price, $10, has appeared on the right hand side. The second item I want to order is blue pens, a pack of 10. And I want three packets at $4 each. And this is calculated to $12. And you will also notice that the final total of the amount is now $22. Thanks for watching this video on using the calculated value control. For more information on Nintex forms or any of our other products, please visit nintex.com.